in the 80s, I was, I was also involved in the gay world um, centrally during all of my time in New York and even before. I had a sort of second community, you could say. And, um, and of course that community was threatened deeply by the AIDS crisis. Initially, I got professionally involved in the AIDS crisis by wanting to do a special issue of the journal October that I was editing. And immediately I started going to ACT UP meetings, the, the activist uh, organization, to learn about the crisis in order to properly do a special issue of a magazine. And that just pulled me right into the activist movement. I continued to do intellectual work about the movement. I taught about it, I wrote about it, I lectured about it. When I came here, that's what I was doing. That was the, my primary intellectual activity and profile. The AIDS issue of October, which was extremely influential, and I've honestly had innumerable people tell me that, uh, literally, that it saved their lives. I mean, that's a slightly uh, exaggerated statement, I'm sure, but that it saved their lives emotionally at a critical point. Working together with a community of people who are experiencing this crisis brought people together in a way that was really, really important in my life. Um, one of, it was really one of the most important social worlds that I've ever been a part of. And I think it's informed my sense of what it's like to be a part of something larger than oneself and something that, um, that has real political urgency.